Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and today it is a Lena Craft and an Alina Craft Design Team haul. So I will just go straight in and tell you um, it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> remember the day of the week. It's Wednesday today so I'm going to be up on Thursday and Friday with projects from this haul. So first up is a magic stamp foam and I will take it out of the bag and you will know that I've received these in other design team hauls and they're loads of fun. So I'm just going to take this one out of here and put it with my others. So you can uh, use your embossing folders, you can use your dies, you can use your stamps, you can use any material that you want to. So if you um, haven't seen these before, all you have to do is heat them, press them down onto whatever it is that you want to gain an impression from, lift it up and the pattern will be basically embossed into it. You then wash it and then you heat it and it all comes back smooth and wonderful, ready for reuse. So that's the first thing that I received. The second, because I do love it when I get useful things, and that is a roll of foam tape. This is the narrow one. I don't know if she's put the size on this. I'm flipping it over and having a look. I think it might be the 5 mil. looking at it, or even the 3 I'll get my ruler on it and uh, stand it up on edge. I've got my glasses on. So I'm going to say that that is three mils. That's what I'm going to say. No, I'm not. Sorry. Packaging was in the way. Uh, that's about five mils. So I've got some foam tape and I've also got some... This one's three mils. Yeah, this one is definitely narrower than this. I've got some adhesive tape, so I'm just sort of like sticking them together. Yeah, so the foam tape is five mil, and my adhesive tape, look how much you get on a roll. You get 50 meters double-sided sticky tape. It's like a, a gorgeous frisbee, crackering frisbee of goodness. So that one is three mils thick, and then I've got these, which look absolutely awesome. And these are acrylic circles. Now, they look opaque because they've got um, a product on them that you've got to peel off. So let's have a look because I think I might use these tomorrow. I'm going to get them out of the bag. Now, obviously, they're circles. And... Uh, Please remove protective film before using. And there are five circles in the bag. So let's have a look at what we've got when I try to get this up with my fingernail. Find out what's going on under there. I mean, things like this are really great because you can stamp and heat emboss. Just remember, if you're using embossing powder and then you're thinking you can fill in with alcohol ink, you can't because alcohol ink will eat through embossing powder. Um, you would have to do all your embossing on front, flip it over and then colour from behind and then use something plain on the back to hide the fact, you know, that you've got... Um, a pretty messy looking alcohol ink thing going on right so you can see there's more clarity there and then if I get my nail under here carefully these should be crystal clear right yeah there you go crystal clear so we've got protective cover so I don't think I've seen anyone use these yet for Alina so I'm going to come up with something for tomorrow with these and uh, see what we can do that's decorative. Right, so there's five of those and I am going to measure them because I'm not sure if she does different sizes um, on her site. And that is four and three quarter inches in diameter. So, you know, you could make wonderful coasters or anything, especially if you've got some UV resin. So, you know, UV resin will dry really, really quickly and seal everything underneath. So that's awesome. And I am going to put them back into their bag. 
right so i think we're going to play with those tomorrow and then i got another wonderful thing which is topography yeah these are the kind of dies where for example i'm going to measure it so that i can do my for example correctly um i'm going to say that that is four and what is that four and three eighths on the largest one so you're going to have to cut a card frame two and a half inches on the biggest one um, that will fit the outside of that. And then you can uh, cut these apart. You can see they've got the bits there. So quite easy to cut apart or, or just pull apart. And you're going to cut all your different layers um, going down through your card stock. So you just cut one, two, three, four pieces of card exactly the same size and then just position these I'll show you how to do this. We'll use this one on Friday and then just go all the way through. And it can be an ocean scene. You can have fish overlapping, flowers, birds, whatever it is that you want to do. I just think that's really cute. And, of course, if you've got a wood grain embossing folder, you can use one of these or even two. Cut them out and make yourself one of those, like, um, what do they call them? Little nook holes. And you can have your little gnome poking out or your owl or whatever cute critter you've got. So, you know, you can create all sorts of things and even wibbly wobbly frames for your characters. Because anything that's got a wibble, a wobble, or a jagged edge looks just brilliant with cute things. So, there is that one. Friday. And then next up, I've got some stamps. And I think that's a peony. You can tell me if I'm wrong, but I think it's a peony. But isn't that gorgeous? That is really, really lovely. I mean, something like this, if you're using stays on ink, you can just stamp straight onto here. And uh, you can create a lovely floral window light. Now, I will say alcohol ink is not light fast, which is why a lot of... Um, colorists who use copics and what have you they usually take really great photographs of their work because no alcohol ink is light fast and it will fade on you so you can create beautiful works of art using alcohol ink but the color after a couple of years is virtually you know it's just not distinguishable from your original piece so always bear that in mind when you're doing stuff with alcohol markers or alcohol inks take a really good photograph and a print if it's a, a little artwork and uh, use that and keep your real piece protected from light so beautiful peony stamp and i am going to measure that i'm just sitting here wittering away i know and i'm feeling in the package five and a quarter inches so that's just really really pretty I mean, you could pop that in a frame as well, couldn't you? Just to make quick gifts. And there's this one, which is Tiger Lilies. And that is gorgeous. And I'm feeling where it is in the package. I'm going to get my my ruler out. It goes to the top there. Five and a quarter inches as well. So it could be that you've got two pretty little frames and you want to do a little bit of watercolouring or what have you. And I do think that these would look really, really pretty as backgrounds on a planner page. Yeah, so, you know, Friday again. And I may use this one tomorrow. I really like this because you look at that and you think, yay, you know, sort of like washi tape style distressed ink. And it's going to be great for stamping your sentiments or what have you on there. You could make a great sort of like color swatch card and have a little sentiment on each of the colors and just run the whole thing down a card or you can use your distress inks and your oxide inks and make yourself just a whole book of all of the colours that you've got. So you could go into each of your ink pads and just keep stamping them down, uh, punch a couple of holes, put a few book rings in, and you've got a colour swatch of all your ink colours done really quickly and would look really pretty. But as I said, you know, similar thing, and you're going to be able to make a great card too. But I really love those. I do love washi washi tape style distress things but i just think that's great all right so how long are those they are four inches and they are different depths actually 
So I've got one there that's just shy of an inch, and then that one is three quarters of an inch, and so on and so forth. But they're sort of like the same sizes, but just going down with different patterned edges. Right, so that's what I've got for you today. And that is my Alina Craft Design Team haul. And we're going to be up with these acrylic discs and... <laughs> Who knows what tomorrow? It looks like fun. Well, it does to me anyway. <laughs> you have an absolutely awesome day. Thank you so much for watching. And as usual, all links below. Bye.